How's it going everybody and welcome back. My name is Chase and today, as you can probably tell, I'm out doing some fishing of course. I'm actually driving out to a sunken island doing some fishing, some mid-lake structure for walleyes. One thing I thought would be fun to do today is do some ice camping. So I've got all the gear in the back of my truck right now. We're heading out to the spot. We're just navigating through the maze of fish houses in this area. We're gonna go try to find somewhere that's a little bit quieter. I'm driving out to the spot right now. We got a little ways to go, but I think we're gonna be able to get on some fish. I've been fishing this spot that we're headed to for a couple of days now, and the walleye fishing has been pretty good. I've caught a couple of walleyes in the mornings. That's all that, when I've only been able to fish. So we're gonna set up there all night. We're gonna be setting up on a point in like 21 to 22 foot of water that drops off to like 35, 40 foot. And so the fishing should be pretty good. We should be able to get on some. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are. Let's get set up. All right, so a quick transition. I found a spot that I'm comfortable sitting on. Like I said, we're on a point right now. It is like 20, two 23 feet of water right here and if you go to my left we're going to be going out to like 35 40 feet of water and it's a pretty quick drop off too first things first we have the shack set up it's banked up it's ready to go we have our holes drilled right here we're gonna bring everything in get everything good to go and this is going to be a, a fun night can't wait to get started so one thing i'm doing right now is i'm just packing down all the snow so we put the carpet down it's a nice flat hard area All right, so we got the first amount of stuff in here. I got a lot of stuff actually for this small hub, but I really wanted it to be really nice. We're gonna watch football in here. We're gonna cook food. We're gonna be out here for like two days. So, you know, might as well bring everything with so we're comfortable and happy, right? Okay, we're all set up and finally good to go. I got the TV in an awesome place. The only thing I forgot was a pillow and that's okay because I can use a coat, a sweatshirt, whatever. It's not a big deal, but let me give you the grand tour of this place because I think this is pretty sick. Okay, so first off, this is our door. Outside the door, we have a cooler, propane tank, truck and everything right there. Come in, this is where our two holes are. We've got the heater running, Vexilar doing its thing, rattle reel with a minnow, perfect. Like it, love it. We got some tackle and stuff over there, bump board, stuff like that. We got our cot, our bed, everything's good to go, fine. Camera doing its thing. Got some, got a fan up on the ceiling to blow the hot air down. And then we've got our two lights. I've got a third light, like it's a little household lamp that I could put in that corner over there, which I probably will do at the end of the night when it gets pretty dark out. Underneath here, we got our Jackery, which is running everything, of course. We're at 98%, it's taking 48 watts to power all this stuff. Probably could turn the lights off so that way we're not burning too much electricity. Got our angle cooler, some other stuff. And then we got the freaking TV mounted to the wall, which is pretty cool. I used, I had like a bin right here at first and I'm like, wait a minute, I've got some gear snake that I could cut and then mount the TV to the hub posts instead of having it on that crate right there, which frees up a ton of space. This is pretty freaking sick. So yeah, I'm actually like really stunned about this. This is gonna be really fun. Even if we don't catch fish, I think it's gonna be fun. The goal of course for tonight is to catch some crappies or walleyes, so that way we can fry fish. But if we don't catch any, I did bring some so we can still fry some fish. I also brought brats and chips and all that type of stuff because you gotta have that stuff in the fish house. I mean, come on, we're living the life here. We're living the life. This is awesome, right? So sick. All right, okay, well, while we're waiting for a fish to bite, I think I'm gonna make some food because I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry right now. So up the cooking equipment out. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got just a simple 
what we're gonna do to cook is pretty simple we're just gonna heat some uh, hot dogs up in a pan got our one pound propane tank pan and I got some other stuff in here for if we were to catch a walleye maybe we'll make one of those Cheddar dogs. Yum, yum, yum. Where are the buns? They're in the truck. Get our pan, a lighter, and a fork. I'm going to use the top of that for a plate. There we go. Got a cup. Yeah, he's on the bottom right there. He goes. There he goes. He took her. It's game time. I'm just concerned about my home. How that ankle is with a high ankle sprain or what? If he. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fish on. Maybe. No, he's still on there. It's tiny. A little guy. Is it LG? Ooh, he is a big, Look at this little walleye. He is a tiny little LG. I think that's the smallest walleye I've caught this year. It's not bigger than my hand. I think he's below the 15 inch limit on this. Like smelt. Yeah, he is. I feel like he can smelt. These small ones don't release very well. It was easy. I just threw them right on there. Everything. It was good to go. Oh. Shoot. <clears throat> Gotta move this camera down here. The bobber just went down. It's probably another small walleye or something. Yeah, there he takes it. Come on, take it. Got it in his mouth, obviously. He's just chewing on it. He's just sitting there. All right, ready? Fish on. Oh, shoot, he got off. Yep. Shoot, he got off. Probably another tiny little walleye. Every second this game is critical. Take one of their two remaining timeouts. Bobber's gone. Bobber is gone. My guys. Turn the camera this way. Bobber went down. I wasn't paying attention. Fish on. There we go might be a little bit nicer of a fish maybe uh, yeah not not big another walleye though look at that just ate that guy right there they're kind of eating it and they're not really bringing the bobber down too far with them they're kind of just eating it and chilling out yeah little walleye he choked that minnow though but there we go. That's our fifth walleye of the night now. They've all been really small, but I know for a fact there's walleyes here, so it's going to happen. We're going to get some nice ones tonight here eventually. Maybe it's a midnight thing. Maybe it's a two in the morning thing. I'm not sure, but we're catching fish. That's all I know. They've got the rattle reel going off again. It's taking it. Still on there. All right, slack line. Fish on. 
fish on, everybody. Fish on. What do we got here? Let's get some good head shakes. Yes, here we go. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. Bigger walleyes. Heck yeah, that's what I'm exactly what I'm looking for here. Better fish. I don't know if you can see that too well. He hit that a little bit harder. Bigger fish later in the evening. Got that hook right in the top of his mouth. Mm, he does not like that. Take it easy. I'm trying to help you out here. All right, let's get a measurement on this guy. I think he's probably like 14, I bet. Oh, he's right, right about 15. We're going to put him back, though. I'm not really keeping fish right now. Beautiful walleye. Nice little eater. Perfect fish. There we go. That's our first nice size walleye. On the rattle reel, on that pink jig. He was heading out towards deeper water, too. So he ate that and he's heading out deep. Nice. Let's get this back down there and see if we can't get a couple more. So hopefully we can hook into a nice big one tonight. All right, good morning. That was a really good sleep last night. I thought I was gonna be cold all night long. I had the heater set on low and it, what's the temperature get to last night? I think it got to like eight degrees outside right now. And with the type of shelter I had, I thought I was gonna be freezing in here last night. I was actually really hot. I wore the sweatshirt to bed. I got this colder weather sleeping bag. It's like a 15 degree bag. And I was sweating. I had to take it off in the middle of the night, take my socks off and everything. I was I was hot last night. I, it, was, it was a good sleep. Unfortunately, nothing hit the rattle reel or the bobber rod last night. I woke up multiple times, like, and checked on the bobber rod and nothing hit it, unfortunately. It's currently 7.45 in the morning. So, it's not sunrise yet. Sunrise is like at 7.50. So, but every time I've come out here fishing in the past, um, at least on a different spot, the fish usually don't start biting until like 8 o'clock, 8.20. So, hopefully we can capitalize on maybe some fish biting. Yeah, that'd be really cool. It's like super foggy outside too. It's completely different than yesterday. It was just cloudy yesterday, but maybe this is like completely foggy. I'll show you. And it's really cold out there too. As soon as I opened that door, a ton of cold air just poured in. But no, this the shack stayed really warm last night. Man, overall. Great night. I still love this ice camping thing. This is fun. I didn't think it was going to be this comfortable in this house I didn't, when it was this cold out. So I'm pleasantly surprised right now. All right. Well, it is currently about 8 o'clock in the morning right now. I actually have to go do stuff today. Uh, so I can't be here all morning, unfortunately, for when the fish really start biting, which is like around like 8.30. So what I'm going to do pretty much is I'm going to close that door first but I'm gonna slowly start packing things up I'm gonna leave both the rattle reel and the bobber rod down though and hopefully we might be able to hook into maybe like one or two more fish uh, before I leave though I got the truck running to warm up it's pretty cold out this morning um, it's like 10 degrees right now so uh, yeah I'm gonna start packing up real slowly and maybe we can get on a couple more fish before we have to leave so fingers crossed let's get to packing Thank you. 
Well, as you can uh, see already now, the house, we're pretty much well packed up. I think this is gonna uh, pretty much do it for your day. Like I said, I gotta go do some stuff this morning so I can't stay out here all morning, which I'd really like to, but I just can't, unfortunately. So I'm gonna rail up our two lines, turn the heater off, finish packing things up, tear the sled down, or not tear the sled down, tear the hub down, and I'm gonna be out of here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Hold up. Just as I was doing my outro, our bava rod was go is going down. Fish on, stay on, but stay on. He doesn't speed, seem big. Yeah, he's not big. There we go though. All right, there we go. We got one walleye this morning. Tiny little guy, that's pretty much what we've been catching all night with that exception of that one 15 incher. But sweet, we caught one walleye this morning though, so I am pretty happy with that. All right, now that we caught this fish, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.